And then let's kick it off with the Booster Gold and Blue Beetle movie. Now, WB has just announced that they will be developing said movie, and I'm pretty excited. Now, if you don't know anything about these characters, is because they're less Which known characters. Yeah. I mean, unless you really read the comic books, and I'm not going to lie to you all, I don't really read Booster Gold comics or anything like that, or Blue he Beetle comics. He just looks at the pictures. Just no, the pictures. I, I've had a little experience with the guys from uh, the Justice League Unlimited TV show. They do make their own appearances there, and, and they're pretty fun. But so what's happening now is we all know about the DC Universe. It's expanding and growing. We have the likes of Batman vs. Superman, Wonder Woman, Aquaman. Probably going to have a Flash movie, uh, Green Lantern movies in there, as well as a team-up Justice League movie. So they're rolling the ball on what they like to call the DCEU, which I'm just like, just call it the DCU. And, but they don't want to be like the MCU, so they have to put an E in there. And the E stands for extended, so it's DC Extended Universe. So then they're being like Star Wars? I guess. They have to have an extended universe. But Blue Beetle and Booster Gold are going to be How do you the main attractions the for these. I, I, like I beyond know. what the universe... It's already a isn't, universe. Isn't it already infinitely expanding? Yeah, I mean, it's always expanding, so I guess that's... Well, why would you say expanding? Just because, Brendan. Because. Doesn't it just become the regular universe at that point? Just, yes, just say yes. it. Just say it. Okay. And it's just the universe. derailment of the show has happened. Thank you very much. <laughs> but yes. They already have a multiverse, so it's like, whatever. Well, they, they do. They do. Um, but yeah, so just to let you know a little bit about Booster Gold. Booster Gold, the character, is actually... A, he's one of my favorite characters in the DC universe. He brings a, a different twist, a lighter twist to all the superheroes. Uh, if you don't know anything about him, he's actually from the 25th century after a lot of these superheroes have already done their stuff. Uh, and he was a pro, fo not a pro football, but he was a college football star. Uh, he actually was born in Gotham. I believe went to Gotham university and was starring there. His dad was kind of a shady character, got him involved in some gambling schemes where he loses games on purpose. So he gets kicked out of the university. Well, he ends up working at a museum and this museum happens to have a wing that houses all of these gadgets from superheroes or supervillains. So he goes in and kind of pilfers them all. Uh, one of the, the things is actually a time machine, and he goes back in time to become a superhero. Uh, he really wants to be a superhero and start a, uh, a corporation so that he can always be financially set for the rest of his life. Okay. Uh, and, and he usually gets into antics. He helps fight crime. He wasn't taken very seriously for his early parts of his, uh, you know, his career, crime fighting career. He was kind of more of a joker and everything like that. And everybody kind of saw that he was a little arrogant. He was really just doing this for glory. Well, and then the he character, fought the joker. I don't, I don't, he might've fought the joker. I, I honestly don't know. But then he evolves into a real hero. And he actually, at one point breaks off of the justice. He joins the justice league. He breaks off from the justice league, starts his own, uh, pretty much superhero group that's funded by corporations and who would have guessed that goes wrong uh, and then joins back with the the um, Justice League but his main partner uh, with all of their adventures is Blue Beetle these guys were put together uh, very early on in Booster Gold's uh, publication pretty much right after he joined the Justice League they put him and Blue Beetle together but Blue Beetle is a character that's actually been around a long time he was originally the original version of Blue Beetle was published by a littler um, comics publisher, I guess is for lack of a better term. Uh, and they changed over when DC bought them out. They changed over the identity to somebody else who doesn't really have any superpowers, but he's like the Reed Richards of DC. He's super, super smart. He's up there with Adam and Batman and all those guys who are just the genius level people. Well, he joins with uh, Booster Gold, and they go out on a lot of adventures. Uh, hmm. Booster Gold is technology-driven, and Blue Beetle knows a lot about technology. So those two kind of are a really good team to fit together. And they bring kind of a lighter side to the whole comic books, because they can get dark. Uh, they really can. Some of the Batman ones, Superman, they can all go to their dark places. It seems like whenever you would see these two come in, it was kind of to lighten every, the atmosphere. Hmm. And that's something I think that they're going to be doing because they looked at DC's looked at Marvel and said, "Hey, well, they have some seriousness in there, but they have a lot of lighthearted parts." You can't say like every Marvel movie you watch, you chuckle a little bit here and there. It's there's always these jokes just to make it a, a lighter situation. 
Well, DC has come out and said that they're going to take their movies more in a darker direction, just from the trailers we've seen from Batman vs. Superman and uh, Suicide Squad. You can tell that they're really going to take a darker tone. So this seems like their way of almost lightening the situation. They're going to mm. bring in this comedy buddy cop superhero group, which will fit in with the Justice League uh, and everything like that because they their stories entwine greatly there. So that's yeah. that's an interesting thing we'll see. Yeah, this is actually an interesting set of guys just from the description. The fact that they're the kind of comedy lighthearted group that's an intelligent group that's really tech savvy that's unusual usually you would expect the comedy lighthearted group to be idiots muscle down or, or someone that doesn't yeah, know what like, they're doing at all in um, avengers the first avengers the funniest moment was when a hulk just smash punches thor unexpectedly that was hilarious you know everybody loved that and you're right i agree usually you get the brutes with the the, the comedy and not the smart or just guys. goofballs or whatever yeah but it's not usually the yeah the mm -hmm. smart guys that are clearly big on tech whatever it's just it's an, it's interesting so well, like blue beetle is though. the only superhero i've ever heard of that at some point in the comics he has a problem with his weight and he gains a lot of weight <laughs> um so it's like uh, okay he doesn't really have any superpowers and now he's fat so yeah uh, good thing he's really smart so yeah the only other um, interesting similar setup i can think of where there's the intelligent uh comedy group of heroes would be like ghostbusters i guess yeah yeah and I think this will fit really well into the DC universe. It's they're kind of copying off of what Marvel did when they Marvel brought out the Guardians of the Galaxy. Those guys, especially Star Lord, he was designed to be a funnier character. I mean, even look at uh, Groot, a, a character that says "I am Groot" and that's it. It provided some of the, the best comedy in any uh, superhero movie when he did his little dance at the end of Guardians of the Galaxy. And it's also just like Guardians of the Galaxy. It's a lesser known. It's a second tier of superheroes that they've showed, hey, this can be successful if you do it the right way. And Booster Gold and Blue Beetle, I think, is that next you know, iteration of the Guardians of the Galaxy. These are two guys people don't really know too much. They're funny. I, I think it'll really work well on screen. I mean, these guys, and, would you even call them a second tier? They might even be like a third tier. Yeah, That's if there was a third tier, these guys... <laughs> I'm Marvel, just saying... I mean, like, DC's almost going further. There might I, be... wouldn't, almost, I wouldn't argue with that. They're, they're almost a third tier. Because, I mean, I guess it depends on where you draw the line, because... Definitely, you have Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman, uh, Aquaman, Aquaman, Flash, Flash. Th th that might be the top right there, sure. and and really more on the the first three end. And then but, you um, have the ones like like Arrow, Arrow Green yeah. Arrow, um, yeah, Red Tornado, other ones like that that are second tier. These guys, yeah, third tier, <laughs> definitely third tier guys. So it, it's just it, it's interesting because the comic publications, DC was the ones who were really setting the trends with the comics and Marvel seemed to follow, you know, almost every character in DC has its own Marvel clone that came years after DC did it. arrow Hawkeye, you know, different ones like that. You can really look I, I think, and draw I a think lot you of can make there. some, um, with certain of them, definitely that's, that's the case with some other set, like some of the bigger Marvel characters. I think you could say were really more trend setting when they came out especially the stuff that they went after like with the x-men the, the whole dynamic of the x-men stuff maybe yeah. a little bit different but but yeah a lot of the other ones um like you're saying the, some of the lesser ones you could see that even like captain america seems to be i guess you pick someone from dc but he's just that big whatever i stand for truth justice in the yeah. american way really. he's more of a generic superhero but he is you know one of the marvel flagship ones yeah. so I, I am excited to see this movie let us know what you think are you excited to see this movie do you think these are too far down the wrong uh the totem pole of superheroes to really be a successful movie hit us up let us know comments down below of course at words my face on twitter google plus and facebook always good ways to get a hold of us